First of all, people, I would like to send a shout out to Kevin Smith. Thank you, Kevin Smith, for f***ing up my childhood, okay? <sighs> What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, and share. So let me tell you guys, initially I was excited to hear about he, oh my bad, not He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Why would we name this, this gem of a cartoon series after, after the main protagonist? Why would we do that? So let's take out He-Man because apparently, you know, hey, this is the council culture, okay? Initially, I was happy to hear about Masters of the Universe, but me growing up being a longtime He-Man and the Masters of the Universe fan, I kept noticing each time I seen a package, you know, it always said Masters of the Universe and no He-Man. Again, I reiterate, you would think that they would keep the main protagonist's name at the top of the title, okay? But no, no, no. Thanks to Kevin Smith, okay, who's producing this through Netflix. It has gone full SJW. Like, I don't even know where to start at. It, it's, 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 it's a tragedy, okay? First of all, spoiler alert, okay, spoiler alert. <sighs> oh, my. Anyway, first of all, Tila's taking Man at Arms' place. King Grayskull, King Grayskull, the guy who he man, you know, um, gets his power from for the sword. You ready? You ready? He's no longer King Grayskull. He's King Pookie. <laughs> Seriously, he is. He looks. This guy looks straight out of Wakanda. Okay, the only thing he's missing is his pants sagging. I mean, just uh. So, from what Kevin Smith told us initially, which was a bunch of lies, he's not changing nothing about the character designs at all. Have you guys seen Tila and Evil Lynn? Okay. They no longer look like these feminine women that you would like to see in a show with feminine women. They're jacked up. Seriously, look at them. Seriously, look at them. So, Tila even goes as far as to, you know, cut her hair and shave one side and all. I mean, this has to be the most wokest move that Netflix has made yet. And it's just not fair, you know. And again, I'm going to tell you guys this. Like, you know, at the, at the risk of sounding ugly about it, like, goddamn, did we, did we as blacks have our hand out? for a black color swap on Grayskull? No. You know, from what I understand, Arco, Orco dies. I mean, seriously, Kevin Smith has crashed damn He-Man. Okay, seriously, Kevin, I mean, he's, he's they're, they're mucking it up. Now, don't get me wrong, the animation in this show looks amazing, okay? It looks downright impressive. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want my story to be race swap. I don't want the political left to just be pushing an agenda in a kid's Saturday morning cartoon. Even, th even though this one right here is going to be made for adults. That's right. From what I understand, there's going to actually be a little bit of gratuity in that. You know, you may actually see He-Man stick it to old Skeletor. So... The plot of the story is this right here. This is a prequel to He-Man. I don't know which one, okay? Maybe the OG He-Man. I don't know because we've had like one back in 2000 and also, hey, so long story is short, magic is dying, okay? Who knows why, what, for whatever reason. He-Man went in retirement from what I understand after separating the power sword, you know? Just like they've done the heavyweight championship belt. And if I didn't know no better, He-Man looks like he's taking a backseat to Tila. Yeah, really. Seriously. Nothing about this screams fan 
fan, you know, fan, um, you know, we're trying to appease the fans. Nothing about this. It screams woke. It screams SJW. Quite frankly, we don't need it. Okay? And I'm going to say what I always say. Stop giving us, stop giving us blacks hand-me-downs. Create a new black character. For that much right there, create a new black cartoon. Okay? Leave King Grayskull, Eternian White, or whatever he was, you know? But come on, now. I mean, seriously, dreads, and it, oh my God. Anyway, um, spoiler once more. Tila has a black best friend in this. I can already tell you where that's going to go, okay? And don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with black characters. Trust me, I don't. I have a problem with hand-me-downs. I have a problem with race swapping, you know? I've been waiting to see this cartoon. Seriously, waiting. And what I get? Kevin Smith fucking it up. I mean, get out of here. Seriously. So, you know, I just wanted to run this to you guys again. Um, this is what we're getting. This is what we're left with. Hey, I'm sure the cartoon is going to be good all the same. But honestly, people, from the way Kevin Smith has lied to us, from the things they're doing with the color swapping in this right here, I wouldn't support it. You know, stop supporting all these woke cartoons, woke movies. Okay, just quit it. And they'll stop making them eventually. Well, anyway, everybody, look at here. This is your boy, Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you guys think at the bottom. Is this about the wokest damn thing they've done yet? Or am I just over-exaggerating? Am I just doing the most? Hey. I have the <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's just wait on that, okay?